Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add an MX record into your name or on the name sheet. So the first thing that you'd like to do, of course, is just go and open your browser that you're going to use to follow the tutorial steps. Here I'm using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use whatever browser is working for you or whatever browser you're using in your PC. Once you do that, of course, just go to the URL section and simply type namecheap.com. Hit the enter button and that should take you into this page, which is the same as this. And just had this open. And here, of course, if you have an account, make sure to just go into sign in and enter your username and password. And if you don't have an account, make sure to click at sign up. And of course, for you, you will have another page and not this one. Because this one, if you already logged in into your account, you'll find something like that. But for you, you will be prompted to another page to fill up your information to create your account. Of course, there is no fast way as like signing up with your Google or YouTube or Facebook or something like that. You cannot do that here. So once you're here, and as we said, we would like to add an MX record. So how can we do that? So of course here, the first thing you would like to do, of course, is just have a domain and name before. If you don't have it, you will have just to go and buy one. And once you buy it, of course, you can just go to your domain list here. And once you are here, make sure to go and click at this manage, add the domain name that you would like to add the MX record on it. Click as manage, of course, and wait everything until everything is loaded. And of course, here you can just go into this advanced DNS. And once you are here, you would like to look for the mail settings. Of course, you'll find that here. You will find it as the fourth one, just the mail settings here. And here, this mail forwarding, make sure to click on it and go and add a custom or check the custom MX. Here, of course, you will be able to add the values of your MX record and make sure that, of course, I can just here put some example values. Those are not real values. For you to know that, of course, you will have to check with your email service provider. So here, let's just add an ad. Here, of course, for you, it's going to be the mail hosting like provider, provider.com. Uh, and here, set the priority at 10. Of course, if you need to add more, you can just go always and add more MX records. Of course, when this is saved as you can see you'll have this option of adding a new record so this will be actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye